G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, Ange here. So as you can see, I have a Traxxas Slash uh, with a Baja Buggy Proline body on it. So this car is a work colleague of mine and uh, he's coming to see me for some repairs because we've got some broken shockers and it's going to give it a bit of a tune up. And uh, yeah, get the body off and I'll show you what's underneath. All right, so I've got the body off and the first thing that I can see is, yep, yeah, it's pretty dusty and dirty in there. So has been cleaned in a while. There's a few of the tie rod bars there that are pretty rusty that need a bit of a clean up. It does look like he's had a replacement uh, front left drive shaft right there because all the other ones are genuine red. And this one is black, although it could be genuine, but it's a black one this time. Uh, I'm going to change the terminals to XT60s because I just don't like these uh, Traxxas terminals at all. So we're going to get them cut off, get some new terminals on there for him. Still got the original 3660 uh, motor in there with the original ESC. Don't know what KV it is. I might have to look that up. And it also has a bottom uh, broken shocker. It's got a broken ball in there. So I've got a couple of spares all up in there. And uh, we're going to change that for him. Check all the wheel bearings. I did see this one. It is fairly loose. You can see all those wishbones and and uh, ball links there that are all just uh, a bit loose. But we'll go through all the car right there. We'll give it a nice tune up. We'll grease these uh, diffs, the front and the rear one. Put some new oil in them. And uh, we'll put some new oil in all the shocks as well. So we'll pull all this apart and we'll see what it looks like. And even looking at the condition of this body, I oh, will try and scrub it up as best as I can. But uh, it has been on its roof uh, for some time there. Uh, due to the power of these cars, but I might even um, give this a spray with the black rubber on the inside and that'll just uh, help it protect it a bit more and uh, stop it from cracking any more than what it is. So you can see it's had a couple of uh, good hits and tumbles, but uh, we'll try and fix that by uh, giving it a nice coat of uh, black rubber on the inside there. Just taken off the cover for where the pinion and spur is and as you can see it's a little bit loose so i'd say the motor has just come away from the spur gear a little bit there but uh, we will just uh, readjust that get that a little bit tighter um, problems with this is that the pinion because it's metal it can strip the plastic spur gear and we don't want that to happen and then you've got to start pulling everything apart and blah 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 and then it's going to cost you more money so we'll get this backlash corrected and uh yeah we'll get all that fine-tuned all right so i've pulled a few more things apart and we're going to have a look inside now and it is not too bad we'll get some more lighting in there Still got a good fair amount of grease, but I think we could probably do the clean out and uh, we'll get some more nice uh, fresh grease in there. All right, we're going to see what it's like inside the uh, spider gears now. So we'll have a look there and it is not too bad actually still got a good amount of oil in there obviously it is pretty dirty but um, we'll get all that cleaned up put some nice fresh oil in there all right so i've got everything nice and clean everything looks brand new and uh, no broken teeth anywhere it's going to give this a little bit more of a wipe down inside there. We don't want any water in there. Going to top it up with some nice uh, fresh diff oil. I'm not going to film the rear because it is the same as the front. All right, so in the front diff, we're going to be running 60,000. 
and in the rear diff we're going to do a hundred thousand so you don't want to put too much you just want to let it settle and just be just a couple of millimeters just below the diff casing because then when you put on your other spider gear it's going to sit down and squish into it and then you're going to have too much oil in there and it's going to get diff lock up all right so that front differential is all back together and you can feel it's got some nice tension in there with the 60,000 uh, differential oil in there so that feels really really good so we'll grease this up get this one back in and then move on to the rear one I've got the car all back together so like I said I've greased the rear and the front differentials so I've got some new uh, grease in there I've also just put some normal tacky grease for the pinion and the spur gear or the pinion on the crown wheel whatever you want to call it and I've refilled and uh, fixed up all the shockers for him as well so I'm running uh, 60 weight in the shockers uh, front and rear and I've just fixed up like the ball ends put some new ball ends on there for him and one of them was missing the um, the little uh, rubber diaphragm uh, they've got some good rebound on them right there so I'm happy with that all the wheel bearings were good they're all done they're all fine the shafts are sitting nice and straight and the next thing that I am going to fix is all the body posts so they're not the best uh, as you can see they're all been they're all worn out uh, due to uh, landing on the uh, on the roof all the time sorry I can't get that in focus let's try this one so you can see that that one's not too bad but these back ones what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna drill these out leave the leave the big washer that's there so the body can still rest on it but because these are so worn out the R pin's not really gonna um, last much longer in there it's just gonna fall out no way you won't get in focus get in focus come on all right there so yeah so you can see the R pins just not gonna last much longer so my little modification I'm gonna do is I've got some aluminium five aluminium rod and uh, I've drilled one through already so I'm gonna end up cutting that at the base there just tapping it with an M3 tap and then I'll drill a couple of holes uh, in the top here for the different uh, height on the body post but I will just leave them a little bit longer so if it does land on the roof it will wear out the aluminium more than the um, than the original plastic one so the body posts are all done now um, I did say before that they were 5 mil, but they're not. They're actually 6.2 mil uh, thickness on these aluminium uh, rods that I've got there. So I've tried to save the body posts as much as I can. I know this one is a little bit worn out just because it's been hitting on that all the time there. But uh, I did drill these out with a 2 millimeter hole for the R pin uh, right there. And also underneath, they have been tapped out and drilled out to an M4 uh, drill bit right there instead of the M3. So we'll get the body on and uh, make sure everything's sweet, make sure there's no noises and make sure it's steering straight. And just one more thing, yes, I did change it to an XT60 connector, which will be much better. And I did make him a little adapter so he can still use it on his home charger right there. But I will make him a cable regardless so that's coming straight out of my charger right there so yeah i'll make him one of them and also what i did too is spray the underside of the body with a rubber coating so this will make it a lot more durable on the hard landings and it is still flexible but it's just given it just a little bit more thickness and uh, durability and i've used this on all my cars mm -hmm. 